KL Biology Need Children. Uh, today we are going to discuss some case based questions and assertion reason from principle of inheritance. It will be more useful for your 12th standard board examination. Shall we discuss children? Yes. The first question. Prashant wanted to find the genotype of a pea plant bearing purple colored flower in his kitchen garden. For this, he crossed purple flowered plant with white flowered plant. As a result, all plants which were produced had purple flower only. Upon selfing these plants, 75 purple flower and uh, 25 white flower were produced. That means 3 is to 1 ratio he produced. Now he can determine the genotype of the purple flower plant by crossing it with a white flower plant. It's a story. Now we are going to solve the question. Which of the following cannot be derived from the crosses done by Prashant? So what he has done is monohybrid cross. He can get Mendel law of segregation and dominant. But he cannot get Mendel's law of independent assortment which is only applicable for dihybrid cross. So the answer will be Mendel's law of independent assortment cannot be derived. Okay children, shall we proceed to the second question? To determine the genotype of the purple flower plant, Prasant cross this plant with a white flower plant. This type of cross. So when you are crossing with a recessive, recessive generation, then it should be a test cross. Capital P, small p with a small p, small p is always a test cross. Heterozygous parent uh, with a recessive parent. Okay. So this is what we call it as test cross. The answer is test cross. Next question. In white flower plant, allele is expressed in. Always white flower is recessive. In recessive condition, it is expressed in homozygous condition only. Never in heterozygous. So it is homozygous condition only. The character that is purple flower of the flower appeared in the first filial generation is called. Uh, so whatever we are getting in first filial generation that too it is a purple color. It is called dominant character. Now next question. A genetist cross two plants and he obtained. 50% purple flower and 50% white flower means it's a test cross. Purple color flower plant might be heterozygous. Of course, when the purple color is heterozygous only, uh, we may get 50% purple and 50% white. So, both assertion and reason are correct and it is the correct explanation also. I hope this case study question is clear to you all. Shall we proceed to the second one, children? Yes, second one. According to Mendel, one gene controls the expression of one character only. The ability of gene to have multiple phenotypic effect because it influences a number of character is an exception. The gene having multiple phenotypic effect because of its ability to control two or more character can be seen in cotton. In cotton, the gene for uh, link is also influenced the height of plant, size of ball and number of ovules and viability of seeds. So with this story, now we are going to solve the questions. Shall we solve the question children? Yes. The first question. Genes with multiple phenotypic effect are called dash. So genes with a multiple phenotypic effect, we call it as pleiotropic gene. So, one gene will have more effect, that is pleiotrophy, is the reason. Which of the following disorder is an example of gene with multiple phenotypic effect? So, multiple phenotypic effect means, for example, in sickle cell anemia, as you know, when they are having HBA, HBA, they are having different type of RBC, HBS, HBA, they will be having different type of RBCs. And HBS, HBS, different shapes of RBC. So, different phenotypic effect by single gene, sickle cell anemia, also phenylketonuria. So, the answer will be both A and C is the answer. Which of the following is an example of gene with multiple phenotypic effect? 
multiple phenotypic effect means one gene controls many character of course it is drosophila white eye so drosophila white eye is also controlling characters like that uh, number of ova produce that is egg produce as well as the uh, ovary and wing size etc so it is what we call it as pleiotropism again okay skin color kernel color height in human being all these are polygenic inheritance where you have more than one genes controls okay now pick the correct statement pleiotropy gene exhibits single phenotype pleiotropy is caused by gene that has multiple phenotypic effect as we discuss one gene that shows many character so that is the answer now next question assertion in garden pea the gene which control flower color also control color of the seed coat presence of red spot in leaf axil a pleiotropy gene influence more than one trait so this is also correct and this is also correct and it also explains so assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation for assertion so shall we proceed to the third question children hemophilia is a sex linked disease which is also known as bleeders disease as the patient will continue to bleed even from a minor cut since he or she does not possess the natural phenomena of blood clotting due to absence of anti hemophilic globulin or factor 8 and plasma thromboplastin factor 9 essential for it as a result continuous bleeding the patient may die of blood loss color blindness is another type of sex linked trait in which the eye fail to distinguish red and green colors vision is however not affected and the color blind can lead a normal life reading writing and driving so let us solve the question children first question if a hemophilic man marry a woman whose father was hemophilic and mother was normal then which of the following holds true for the progeny so hemophilic man means his genotype will be xhy and he marry a woman whose father was hemophilic means so let us cross uh, x h and she is, should be the carrier so in that case the possibility of getting is let us see so we may get possibility uh, of female like uh, so xh uh, xh xh x okay when we cross this so female characters will be this that is 50% are affected and 50% are hemophilic so among that uh, this is the possibility all daughters are hemophilic not possible Uh, of course all sons are also not hemophilic one will be affected one will be normal only okay so this is the first option of the total number of daughter 50% or daughters are carrier and 50% are hemophilic will be the answer now next question a man whose father was color blind and mother was normal marry a woman whose father was hemophilic and mother was normal a man whose father was color blind means man is normal never it is going to transfer from father to the son okay uh, so it is a man is normal x and y let us have and then it is crossed with mother uh, he marry a woman whose father was hemophilic that means she is a carrier so when she carry the gene okay now let us take they they have uh, two son and two daughters so we can find x and xh x and x then uh, x and y x h and y so 25% among that 50% of the female uh, the half of the progeny carry hemophilia and color blindness not and uh, 
if you see 25% of the male progeny carry the gene for color blindness no 25% uh, of the progeny carry the gene for no 25% of the male progeny and 25% of the female progeny carry the gene for hemophilia yes of course possibility of getting female hemophilia carrier is this percentage and male affected also 25% so d will be our answer which of the following statement is incorrect regarding hemophilia? Is it a dominant disease? Um, or, yes, first itself is wrong only. It is not a dominant disease. It's a sex-linked uh, disorder. Okay. Mendelian recessive disorder. So, hemophilia is not a dominant disorder. Then, Anu is color blindness and is married to Sony who is normal. So Anu is color blind means we know X C Y and he married a, a Sony who is normal. So X and X is normal. What is the chance that the son will have the disease? So son having disease will be zero because he will be getting the son will be getting X chromosome only from his mother. So his mother is safer side only. So 0% will be the answer. Now next question. We have to refer the cross and we have to find out uh, what is 1 and 2, 3, 4. So when you cross XC and X, it is colorblind carrier female. And then XC, XH. So, XC, XH is colorblind hemophilic female. And then uh, if you see X and Y, they are crossing, it is normal male. XH and Y, hemophilic male. So, this block, uh, that is option A, is correct for this answer. So, let us continue the fourth question. A relevant portion of beta chain of hemoglobin of a normal human is as follows. The codon for the 6 amino acid GAG. Mutates to GAA as a result of mutation X and GUG as a result of mutation of Y. Which of the following is incorrect statement children? Mutation X carry no change is the correct answer because GAG to GAA, glutamic acid both. So glutamic acid and glutamic acid no change. GAG to GUG of course it is valine. So there is a change. So this is also correct. But both mutation X and Y causes change in shape is the incorrect statement in this question. This is the answer children. Now, due to mutation, why the shape of RBC under oxygen tension will be? As you know, in sickle cell anemia, the RBC will attain sickle shape. So, it will be elongated and curved. GUG is coding for valine. Which of the following genotype shows diseased phenotype due to mutation Y? So, it is HBS and HBS showing the phenotype. Now, study the given pedigree chart of sickle cell anemia and select the most appropriate option for the genotype. They have given unaffected male and unaffected female. Affected male and affected female. So, they may be the carriers, right? So, father and mother, so they will be HBA, HBS, both of them. HBA, HBS. Now, uh, of course, uh, when they are uh, transferring to the children, they are uh, uh, first one HBA, HBS. And these are affected, so we can understand they are HBS, HBS. Both 2 and 3. And fourth will be again. Possibility of HBA, HBA also or HBA, HBS also. Now, if you see the condition, they have asked the question, genotype of the parent, genotype of the first and third. Genotype of the parent is carrier, HBA, HBS, HBA, HBS. And uh, 2 and 3, of course, they are affected and uh, they asked for uh, first and third child. First is carrier, HBA, HBS and HBS, HBS. So, option will be D is the correct answer. Now, next question children.
two cases carefully regarding the pattern of inheritance of disease has been given case 1 and case 2 case 1 with disease father is normal mother with a disease son always with disease means it is a sex linked disorder case 2 mother is always with a disease father is normal son and daughters could not show the disease maybe autosomal so in that case let us see which of the following disease is not an example of case 1. That means which is not sex linked. So, hemophilia is sex linked, color blindness is sex linked, night blindness also sex linked. So, thalassemia is the answer. As you all know, uh, night blindness is due to vitamin deficiency but it is also congenital. Which of the following is impossible for case 1? Impossible for case 1. Carrier mother to pass the gene to her son uh, is possible. Not possible only they are asking. asking. Disease father to pass gene to his daughter. Uh, father is normal so that is also not possible. Uh, disease father to pass the gene to his son only is impossible. Always father transfer to his daughter not to his son. Similarly, mother will transfer to her son, father will transfer to his daughter. So, this is impossible. Option will be C children. Now, third question. If inheritance pattern of disease is as case 2 and both parents are carrier of the disease, what are the chances of pregnancy resulting an affected child? Is the question. So, inheritance pattern and both the parents are carrier means you can take, uh, see for example, capital C, small c. Capital C, small c. The probability of getting small c, small c is 1 by 4. That means 25 percentage is the answer. Now, let us discuss some assertion reason sort of question children. First question. A woman can go to the court if a man refused to own his child. He has a blood group B. A woman has A while the child has O. Reason. Genetically, she is right. He can be the father of child. So, now... Um, what was the father's blood group? B. That means he is IB, IO. Father. Mother's blood group? Possibility is IA, IO. So, there may be possibility of child getting IO, IO. So, she can be correct. So, A will be the answer. Assertion and reason are correct and reason is the correct explanation. Now, next question. The genetic complement of an organism is called genotype. That is genetic makeup is correct. The genotype of the is the type of heredity property of an organism is also correct. So, uh, both are correct and the reason is the correct explanation of assertion is also A. Third one. In case of incomplete linkage, the linked gene show new combination along with parental combination. So, incomplete linkage always you have the chance of crossing over. So, we can get new combination is the correct answer uh, statement. In case of incomplete linkage, linked gene separated by crossing over is also correct explanation. So, this also A option. Now, we shall move on to the fourth one. In humans, the gamete contributed by the male determines whether the child produce will be male or female because yes, male produce XY, XF goes means it will become X and X female, Y goes means X and Y male. So, male only contribute, it is correct. Sex in human is a polygenic trait depending upon accumulative effect of some genes on X chromosome and some genes on Y chromosome. No, it's not polygenic effect at all. So, this statement stands wrong. So, what will be the answer? It is C. Assertion is true and reason is false. Let us see the fifth question. Phenylketonuria is an inborn error of metabolism. Yes. Phenylalanine is not converted into alanine in individuals suffering from this disease. So, phenylalanine has to be converted into tyrosine, not alanine. So, this is wrong. So, assertion is true, reason is false. So, option will be C. The answer is C, children. So, I hope these five questions are helpful to you to solve some case-based question and analyzing assertion and reason in principle of inheritance. Thank you, children.